All right. Is this for the channel? Yeah. What's up, NDMD? <laughs> Subscribers and followers and friends. Any new people, make sure, again, like and subscribe. You know where the button is. <laughs> and this is for Alter. Oh, hey there. So, welcome to this little tour of our med school building. It is very nice, looks like a freaking Marriott hotel. So, uh, let's show you around. Yeah. <laughs> There's plenty of seating, uh, six feet apart, of course, because we are responsible. Do you Ma get that? Masks are mandatory in the building, so we are all protected and safe. We got our two lecture halls, hall A, hall B. They fit around 200-ish people. Or as you like one. to say, holla. Holla. We can't get into the halls right now on the weekend. Uh, for some reason they lock them, probably for good cause because we would be in here and messing everything up. So, you know. So this is where we usually study um, during breaks or after lectures have ended. We all grab a table and we sit here and we do our work. I'm like smiling. Yeah. So Chris, you want to give them a tour upstairs? Even though we can't get into our yeah, academic houses, houses but yeah. we'll show them what they look like. The hall, like yeah. Yeah. Try not to be annoying. Yeah, kind of. This is our front IT desk with uh, a massive door. And uh, this is the front entrance to the right. Oh yeah, I know that guy. Hand sanitizer. Are you, uh, the foaming or the best one? Oh, foams are great. They just did alcohol things. Some of them smell weird. Yeah, I think this one does. This is a loft. It's um, a cool, like, bridge type thing where you can study. Um, and, yeah, there's a few tables. Not really much else. I mean, we got one printer in the whole building. I repeat, we have, there's only one printer in the whole building. <laughs> so do not come to print during lunchtime because you'll be in a line of like 40 people. 30 of them are nursing students. <laughs> so. <laughs> so academic houses are our version of like kind of having like camaraderie within each class. Although basically every academic house, I don't know the exact numbers, but if I have to ballpark, probably 40 to 60 students in each house, about 10 to 15 from every class. And then you've got a couple house advisors, which are faculty members. And we've got houses, what, A through M, I think. So on the second, third floor. And basically these houses um, provide kind of like a social opportunity and even just um, even you get a little bit of mentorship from your advisors and even some of the older So students. pretty much the houses are where you go to hang out with your peers, get coffee, get free snacks. Free and the best part about it is that everyone's a med student and they're all super helpful and nice and the couches have lit the houses have little couches where you could take a nap if you're tired they're of essentially any little houses. <laughs> so think about these like the Hogwarts houses. So like each house kind of has its own mascot, its own theme, and then everyone kind of like has their friends or well their community within it. And so this is an example of a house. Sadly, because of COVID, we can't go in. Yeah, because nice our badges do this. 
Yeah, it don't work. But there's a nice little couch where I love to take naps sometimes. There's a study area, there's a kitchen, there's coffee machines, and just a place to hang out. These are also whiteboards. There's, and then these are also whiteboards. You can actually write on these. And these. So. Yeah, and then each of these rooms is like a big conference room. I don't know if you can see it, but TV in there, and everyone's got their own little station. Uh, and you can check them out through this little iPad looking thing. If anyone needs gloves, Walker K. They're actually really good gloves. They're heavy duty. Like. Take them. So I'm 100% stealing your gloves. Yeah. Um, for you know PCLs. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, spacious lockers. Um, you can store stuff in them. And House K is also the best house. If you didn't hear earlier, she even said that. House she, L. She missed both. She meant house K. House L. Because L is for losers. House D, because you know. Uh, this is the Office for Academic Affairs. I don't really know what it is. Can you speak to it? Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite offices in the building. Um, the faculty are super, super sweet and I've come in here multiple times and I come with any of my concerns or just when I feel overwhelmed and stressed and they're so good at helping you just ease all of your worries. And Definitely come check them out. They also have free candy, which I love. All the class deans are here. Um, office administrators, it's a good place to be. Everyone's so nice. Like the faculty here, love them. Hashtag promo. I actually have cried in this office before though. No. Oh. guys enjoyed that short and sort of not comprehensive tour of this building. There's a lot of places that are either closed or you couldn't really get into um, because A, we're, uh, it's a weekend and B, you know, COVID. So like you didn't get to see the sim labs or like the houses, but maybe when things go back to normal, I can do a tour of that or if they can let me in the sim lab. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so these two are M2s. Um, so they've spent a year here and have been put through the ringer already, but I kind of want to let you guys uh, talk about some student initiatives. Obviously, uh, COVID has kind of transformed the way we kind of are approaching medical education at the moment, but a lot of students have taken that time to be like, you know, super stellar in serving their community and you guys are some of the front runners of that. So. Why don't you want to talk about some, something? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say we're front runners necessarily. Everyone's doing a lot of work, which is good. Everyone's just kind of finding their own like niche or niche, however you say that. Um, <laughs> but definitely, she's the kind of I'm in, I'm involved in one initiative, which is the um, MCG 
COVID response website and her, uh, Krishna and Elena are actually um, like the heads of that. And so they've offered a lot of really good leadership to help like kind of guide us and push us forward. It kind of started out as a really small like volunteer type project um, for a pandemic medicine elective that our school is offering. And um, that was earlier in June, right? So it was started actually by some older students. Um, what were they, M2s, M3s? M3s. M3s, and then they did a little bit of work, just made a website for, for us to volunteer on. And then um, um, her and Elena, they ended up uh, kind of taking over that and really pushing it out to the community because we figured that after like putting some time into it and seeing that it's actually pretty useful, we talked to the administration that, hey, and said like, hey, maybe there's something uh, more that we can do with this and really help the community. So Krishna and Elena definitely like pushed it forward and um, have led the way for uh, for, yeah. uh, for this well, response. We want to give a big, sh oh, can you still see me? Yeah. We want to give a big shout out to Zilkar and Annabelle for actually originally founding the website and we're so thankful for the foundation. We just built upon it. We added a bunch of new resources. We have a team of like seven people, including Kush, Jerry Tan, Amanda Delgado, Eric Leon, Alex, Alex Carrico, and I Elena mean. Diller, and, and I, yeah, and we work together. We've never really met up in person because of COVID, but we use Zoom calls and Microsoft Teams to touch base. So definitely check out our website, mcgcovidresponse.com. Link down below. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> and now we'll have contributions from our very own ND MD um, M1. And our then on favorite the, M1. That's right. And then we've got another M1, uh, Nitish Su, that's also helping us as well. So Yeah, so uh, M1 students, even though we're literally a week into med school, uh, these guys are super helpful our older years in um, getting us involved really quickly off the rip. And, um, you know, some of the videos that you will have definitely seen on this channel uh, at, or before this video is posted are going to be featured on that website as uh, patient information uh, ways, you know, ways to educate the public. And so uh, be on the lookout for future projects uh, regarding that website. Uh, thank you to these two for kind of roping me in And thank it. you, Andy, for <laughs> yeah, doing all of you. this. He's so fun to work with. If you ever want to collab, hit him up. Please do. Wow. <laughs> I don't deserve this shout out, but <laughs> seriously, mcgcovidresponse.com uh, will be linked in the description. Please check it out. Please share uh, with your community, especially if you are in the Augusta or like kind of CSRA. Uh, CSRA area. It's a lot of information as well as resources where you can help, uh, you can donate, you can uh, find ways to get tested uh, for free all around Georgia. So it's going to be uh, an ongoing project for the foreseeable future, as long as we have to wear these and things are crazy. But I hope you all enjoyed uh, this brief little tour and kind of seeing what MCG students are up to uh, in the midst of this wildness and really using that as a learning experience instead of a roadblock. So uh, you guys want to say anything else? Any shout outs? Thank you, Andy. We love you. And also yeah. like and subscribe, please. <laughs> That's right. Stay safe and healthy, please. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Those are two most important things you can do to help everyone else and yourself. And okay, bye. Bye.